This is a tomato. This is also a tomato. Is this a tomato? Yes. Where will it end? Here. Like all plants grown for human consumption, the tomato is a monster. Many years ago, the tomato was cute and small, a tiny, barely edible berry on a bush much resembling the modern gooseberry. However, generations of selective breeding later, the humble tomato swole to proportions we are more familiar with today and earned the name tomato, which the internet tells me is pronounced like this. Tomat by its breeders, meaning the swelling fruit. Although possessing a powerful presence in much modern Italian cuisine, the tomato is actually a South and Central American native and was thought to be first cultivated by the Aztecs, who bestowed upon it the name it would later be known by all across the globe. Its exact date of origination is unknown, but sources suggest that several Mesoamerican cultures were already cultivating the tomato as early as 500 BC. Tomat means swelling fruit, and these fruits were not only an important food source, but were also incorporated into several cultural practices. Chiefly, it was believed that consumption of tomato seeds could grant the imbiber visions of the future. The tomato only got around to gracing European tables in the 1540s and 50s, 2,000 years or more after it became a staple American food. Now, interaction is an important part of learning, and so I shall grant you five seconds to guess why a culturally relevant South American food only became became prominent in Europe in the 16th century. Ah yes, the age of exploration. Much like many foods and items of South American origin we now enjoy, the tomato was discovered by Europeans as the conquistadors were burning and raping and coughing and sneezing their way across the New World. Seeds were shipped back to Spain, and over the span of the next couple hundred years, a complex relationship between the tomato and Europe would begin to flower. The tomato failed to make too large of an impact in Spain, but it was soon carried to a new New European home, one which would gift us with all the delicious gifts of pizza and pasta and ravioli sauces that we know the tomato for today. The first Italian whisperings of red squishy goodness date back to 1548 in a letter to the Medici private secretary informing that a basket of tomatoes gifted by the Medici family had reached their intended recipient safely. In these early years, the tomato failed to grace the Italian palate, reserved instead as a tabletop decoration and ornamental plant. Due to several toxic varieties of tomato existing and its relation to the nightshade family, many cooks were less than eager to add it to their dishes and a misconception spread that all varieties of tomato were inedible. For more than a hundred years, the tomato languished in Italy, tragically untasted. In 1692, however, new recipes from Spain would rekindle an interest in the flavorful fruit. Soon, the Italians would spearhead European tomato consumption and cultivation, with many provinces growing their own unique strains meant for a variety of purposes, from salads to soups to pizza sauces. It was conquest that brought the tomato to Europe and it would be conquest that spread it. The British adopted the tomato in the early 17th century and would go on to spread it to their colonies in Africa, the Middle East, and eventually North America. Here, back on its home continent, the tomato would reach its final evolution and become the delicious, plump fruit we all know and love today. Alexander W. Livingstone, Ohio State resident and horticultural demigod, spent years crossbreeding various strains of tomato, intent on creating a plant fit to be grown in bulk alongside corn and wheat. He took the wrinkly, swollen fruit of the past and forged it into the paragon, the ancestor of today's beautiful tomato. 
food of both the conquered and their conquerors. The tomato is a fruit tempered in bloodshed. A crimson emperor which stepped off its low-hanging vine to dominate the world. It is perhaps no great surprise that the moniker Bloody is ascribed to drinks bearing its juices. Respect your tomatoes, brothers and sisters. Enjoyed the video and are hungering for more? Click here to sink your teeth into a video about the Children's Crusade and let its vital red juices flow down your chin. Or if you're fiending for a different taste, check out the channel for a whole bunch of other content.